Alright, what's good people? Today I'm going to be giving my post-trailer thoughts on Sonic X Shadow Generations. I made a video a few days ago saying that it's not going to be good. I need to take back my statement. It's going to, it's looking pretty good right now. So let's get straight into it. So first I just want to talk about the Sonic Generations portion. I'm going to lower that volume. So here, I mean, it's Sonic Generations. So there's, there's not much different to it, apparently. From what I've seen or heard on Twitter, apparently there are some graphical bugs involved in the game, like, Apparently it happens on the PC upscaling too. Uh, what is it? Sometimes the lighting breaks in certain areas, and some of the graphical effects don't work. But apparently it's just the same game, uh, just brought over to newer consoles. I'm not. I don't have too many worries with that one. All right, for the Shadow Generations portion, let's get straight into it. Or is it? First thing I need to talk about the graphics. The graphics look incredible. All right, the lighting is amazing. The graphical effects. The graphical effects. Sorry, just the movement. The chaos, bro, I love that homing attack. The chaos control homing attack, I, I love that little detail. Like I said, the lighting here, the reflections, look at shadow. Green representing the lighting. Black Doom, the animations are spectacular as well. Like, he doesn't look stiff in these cutscenes. Like, you can see his quills moving, you can see Black Doom's like tentacles moving as well. Again, the graphics just look very good. It's going to be the best looking Sonic game by far. Better than Frontiers, better than Unleashed. I'm pretty sure it's running on Hedgehog Engine 2. I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 certain it's running on Hedgehog Engine 2, which is what Frontiers ran on. So it's going to look just as good as Frontiers, but now with the extra graphical effects, it's going to look better. Unleash had the art style to carry it, but I think I don't think that's touching this. So uh, another positive uh, that we have so far is the Steam page. Uh, the first paragraph is mentioning what the game is. The second paragraph. Play a Shadow of the Hedgehog in a brand new story campaign featuring never before seen powers and abilities. When Shadow's old nemesis Black Doom reemerges and threatens to take over the world, Shadow must uh, must journey into his own past, confront painful memories, face fam familiar foes, and unlock new powers to save the world and prove why he's known as the ultimate life form. So pretty much this is giving a, a story synopsis. Pretty much, it's just a generation story but with Shadow, and instead of the Time Eater, it's Black Doom, which in my opinion makes more sense. Black Doom has that ability naturally and it doesn't come out of nowhere. The Time Eater, the Time Eater was very strange in the original game because it felt like it just felt shoehorned in to give Sonic an excuse to go back in time but now we actually have like a legit reason to go back in time Black Doom I remember in child like the original game he would I think there was one scene it's when you're entering the Doom or when you're gonna start the Doom level he takes Shadow on a memory in his own in his own past as he's watching Gun chase him and Maria down which is just proving that he can actually Put people into their own memories like i said the story looks pretty good it looks like ian flynn's also penning it he says hashtag knowing smile to the trailer whenever he does that it means he has some involvement i hope he has more involvement though than in frontiers because people thought he wrote the story in frontiers he did not do that he only penned the dialogue i'm pretty sure he had like some workarounds that he was allowed to do but whatever the story was what se was what sega and sonic team gave him so he didn't have too much freedom in what he did in my opinion the dialogue was actually really good in frontiers like the character the character interactions it's just the actual like story itself i was not a big fan of it was okay until you got to the beginning of Aranos, and then that one scene where they just hold hands and then sada comes back to life it ruined the whole story because at that point it just made no sense nothing worked i that you could tell that was a the part they rushed uh for the game oh yeah another thing uh where is it no i'm not watching lego batman all right one more thing i need to go back to it where is it right there right there you can see this right here i'm 99 percent certain that's a chaos sphere when the steam page talks about new abilities I'm hoping they're talking about chaos powers because I actually want to see all of these chaos powers brought to like in game with Shadow. Like they tried it in 06, it didn't work that well. The chaos blast was terrible. The chaos spear was terrible. Shadow of the Hedgehog did them pretty well. Chaos control is kind of useless unless you're going for the neutral story. But chaos blast was decent. But again, in that game, they got nullified because the thing is, when you had the ability to use them, you had infinite ammo. Again, it's looking very good. I do have a few concerns though. I think I have two main ones. The first one is the level design. From what we can see here, like when the trailer starts, like for Shadow's portion, you see it's a straight line. Again, these are these are like cinematic shots, so I don't expect them to have like four different pathways in like a, a spectacle section. But here you can see there are multiple pathways. The dash panels down here hidden behind the boxes. There's the pathway they, they try to lead you to up here. So there are multiple pathways. There aren't going to be that many multiple pathways in like these action sequences. This looks kind of linear, but again, it's a spectacle shot running on the side of a building or a road that bends sideways. Bio Lizard. I'm I'm very excited for these boss fights because I've heard I've heard people talk about wanting Mephilus to come back, 
I wouldn't mind personally, it's another villain or an enemy Shadow has to come back. And to be honest, it would be pretty cool. Mephilus was probably the best part of 06 in terms of story after Shadow. Because Shadow was the best and then Mephilus and then Silver and then Sonic was barely even part of the story in his own game. Bro died as well, I don't know. How, can you, how are you going to kill your own main character in a video game? The boss fights actually do, do look very good. I mean, they only showed one, which is the Bio Lizard. But you have the Chaos Spear. Where is it? Bio Lizard, he's back. Chaos Spear. Actual... I hope they expand his combat abilities. Because Shadow has very good combat abilities in 06. Not 06. 06 combat was terrible. But I feel like you could pull off more combat abilities with Shadow than you can with Sonic. Just from the extra Chaos powers and the ability to, to teleport all these things. So I feel like creating more moves for Shadow would be easier than for Sonic. Because in Frontiers, you can see a lot of them did the same thing. Like the, the one where you hold the left trigger and the one where you press the right trigger and press the bottom button, whichever you're using A or X, depending on which console you're playing. They did the same thing pretty much. The main thing that's worrying me though, is that Shun Nakamura seems to be heading this game. Now this is not, this doesn't, this isn't anything against him as a person. It's just since 2009, not even, 2008, the only thing he's done is produce Sonic Forces. And if you heard the interviews for that game, I'm scared. Because this is the guy who said dashing like a maniac. Again, again, there's nothing against him. This guy's been here since 1997. Clearly, he, he has the ability. And if you can see here as well, Sonic Unleashed 2008. My joint favorite Sonic game ever. He He's part of the level design team. He made some of the best boost levels of all time. So again, this is not a personal attack against him. This is more... I'm worried about the direction he's going to take because you can see here the direction he took with forces was not it and the game turned out terrible but here when it was just him using his abilities he made incredible levels so i'm just scared what he's gonna which direction he's gonna take this this campaign in if he wants to make it dash like a maniac level i'm very worried but if he's gonna make it unleash level level design i'm very very optimistic i don't think they're gonna make it like unleash unleash level because i feel like a lot of the it's a lot of Sonic team that was there during Unleash is not there anymore. Actually, most of them aren't there anymore. That's probably the biggest thing I'm worried about. Anything else? Oh yeah, the controls. If you can see here, Shadow's boost. That is the forces. I think there's a clear shot of it. Shadow's boost in this game is his boost from forces. And if you know that game, the game's control is actually horrific. Control is terrible. So stiff, cannot move. You go forward in a straight line. That's all you can do, really. The air boost was fun, I'll give it that, but nothing else in that game's control was great. But, if you've seen another shot, where is it? It loads. Here. The homing attack rewind. Right there. After you hit a homing attack, it has the same trajectory as the one in Forces, specifically the- or not Forces, Frontiers, specifically the cyberspace levels, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he does that in the open world too, but he has that rewind. Personally, I don't mind the cyberspace controls that much, but I've learned to work around them. I feel like most people do not like them, do not like the controls in cyberspace. So if I had to guess, because it looks like it's building off forces and frontiers, I want them to take the controls from the open world, because that can that's the best honest control in I don't know how long, probably since Adventure 2, because Heroes was too slippery and then everything else after that was just questionable apart from the boost games but they were designed with like straightforward not straightforward but forward mentality like go forward so frontiers open world is probably the best he's controlled in a while so i want them to build off of that with the quicker boost so like maybe the power boost maybe tune it down a bit because that was a bit too op in the open world again have good level design that complements the controls and i think you got something amazing all right overall my final thoughts i think the game's gonna be pretty great the base game generations, they're bringing it over to the newer consoles. I don't think they're going to mess it up, given what I've i have seen. Apparently, there's graphical bugs, but this is like pixel hunting level of nitpick. Like, I watching this, I didn't even know they did anything to this, to be honest. Like, I genu I honestly thought this was just 360 gameplay and, like, AI up, up FPS. I don't know what to say. But like, they got AI to, like, improve the frame rate or just record off PC. But apparently, this is the new game. This is the remastered version from what I've heard. And like the graphical bugs, you literally have to pixel hunt to find this. So again, I don't have too much of a problem with that. And the Shadow of the Hedgehog portion, again, graphics incredible. Chaos powers seem to be there, great. Only thing I'm worried about, level design. And if Shun Nakamura is gonna take it in the direction of Sonic Forces, or if it's gonna take it in the direction of Sonic Unleashed. Overall, I'm pretty confident. Again, I'm gonna keep my guard up because it is Sonic Team, it is Sega. They have burned us too many times. But overall, I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. 
Have a nice day and enjoy yourselves. Have a nice one.